This video features an item available for pre-order or purchase at Big Bad Toy Store. Check out the link in this video's description to visit their website. Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashtag here today, and with me I have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Power Rangers crossover figures as part of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, based on the 2021 comic book crossover series. So, as you see on my left here, I have the Pink Ranger April O'Neil and the Yellow Ranger Michelangelo, and then on my right I have Raphael as a Red Ranger and Tommy as a Foot Soldier. So, there are more figures in this series. And we will check out some of them, in addition to these two, when we get back. And here is everybody out of box. As you see, I brought out Lord Draken for comparison. They are, in fact, in scale. Uh, I, you, you think they're in scale, and I look at them and go, man, the turtles are a little larger than usual. Because technically they're into like four feet, five foot tall. And uh, Tommy, <laughs> which is coincidentally both these guys here, is like six foot. So, eh. Anyway, um, as you see in front of them, each of them comes with uh, an assortment of accessories. I, I like the fact that April homages the original action figure with her microphone and uh, camera. So, that is an interesting little tidbit they add in. Uh, not necessary, but, you know, it's nifty. But before we go into too much more detail, um, let's quickly look at the boxes. And as I carefully pull this up, uh, you, you see it, the boxes are fairly simple. There's just a background back here and a little Don't Hurt Yourself paper. But if we turn it around, we get just a, a shot of the figures as uh, they are holding them. And um, nothing too fancy about it. And of course it repeats with uh, this one here. Again, uh, just a filler background. There's actually a new turtle shell. And uh, then, of course, again, the figures doing something. So nothing too exciting about the box art. Uh, of course, like the sides have this, this little bit of art here, which continues the front panel. And it's the same for all, for all of them. So let's, uh, I guess, go left from right. We'll move Draken back a little bit. And we'll take a look at the accessories each figure comes with, as well as each figure. This is Tommy as a foot soldier. Now, the one thing I like about this design is the fact that he could just be a foot soldier. He doesn't have to be Tommy. And uh, I, I think in setups, I might actually just go that route. Because technically, he's Tommy. He's just evil Tommy. This makes him look like evil Tommy, but technically, he's a good undercover Tommy. And... Um, his sword actually holsters back here, and uh, the flexibility is there. A double jointed, a double jointed knee. Uh, there's like uh, this bend here in the ankles. All of them are exactly the same, by the way. Uh, some chest and waist bend. A little bit of left and right here, but just at the chest, not the waist. Uh, wrists go up and down. No finger movement. And this brings me to a point. All of them are exactly the same movement-wise. And they each have multiple hands. I'm just thinking to myself, would it not be cheaper just to create an articulated hand? That way you only have to put one hand. You know, you can make a fist with the hand. You can hold an item with the hand. You don't need the two, three versions of the same hand, you know. Uh, anyway, bendy up here, bendy down here. The head on him is a little tight, but yeah, up and down, left and right. Now, this is the one thing that also bothers me about these figures. Oh, I, I do like that, though. Hmm. A little, little rubbery. Is to change the hands and the head, you got to pull them off. And I always worry about breaking something. And let me take his sword out. Ugh, there you go. Stick it back here. Oop. Like a glove. And pull his head off. And then his head, oops, Raphael, ah, oh, no. Gotta fix him, there we go. Uh, his head is, uh, you know, his Tommy head with the masky thing. And there is like some type of pieces you can put on here if you want him to have like a, a ninja mask. I don't know if I'm doing it right, it might be this way. 
but my problem is getting the head back on. There we go. And now he has a ninja mask. Now there's also one where basically the mask is down and that's what that is. So you could have it where the mask is pulled down. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much him in a nutshell. I, I love the texturing on the bandages here. So that's pretty nifty. Actually, I'll, rather nicely textured, to say the least. And uh, it's pretty good. So what else does he come with? Well, in addition to the head here, which we'll just lean him back in the little neckerchief, is he also comes with this blast effect. And if you've watched my other videos where there's blast effects, not a fan. Uh, it's not for the fact that this is not Transformers. This would go into a separate box altogether, and I would just forget to exist. But I like keeping Paranger stuff together, so it'll go with the Paranger stuff. Uh, this is crackling lightning thing for his sword. Um, I'm not quite sure how it works, but hey, whatever. And then he gets two fists, uh, one from each hand, and uh, they're, they're okay, I guess. They just they're close fists, and I assume that whatever fist it is goes in here. And that's how he holds the thing here. I tried to do it off camera earlier and I couldn't get it to work. Let's see if I can do it now. See, it slowly pops out. Now, always worry about breaking them off. Because all they really are is little, like, I don't know what you call this. I almost wish they would do the 5mm ports like Transformers does. But those, over time, just stop working altogether. And of course he has ankle or ankle tilt, wrist tilt. Let's see if I can get that effect on. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. It's not gonna let me do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, I did get it. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like a super speed of punching. Okay, so uh, up next is of course Raphael. This is my favorite guy. It's the first Ninja Turtle I ever had in the uh, four inch line and um i i you know this is funny also they make turtles in the standard size in addition to power rangers uh, of course uh the license for turtles is, is like a squish between playmates and, and other companies uh super seven i think and the playmates version of course is the standard four and these are like the six inch uh, size so this is the first time I've gotten um, turtles in that size scale, but I, the fact that they're a crossover, I was like, you know what, I have some Power Rangers in the 6 inch scale, and I'll go ahead and get uh, new turtles in that scale since they're technically in-universe. But uh, I like the fact that, if you may remember, the Red Ranger has the, the, the um, I want to say Dragon Dagger? Uh, or the, uh, no, Dragon Dagger, Green Ranger. I forget what the Red Ranger was, but... Um, of course, Raphael gets the Red Ranger's abilities, so he has his weapons adjusted his size to be for the Red Ranger, and uh, I actually appreciate that. I like it a lot. Um, so texture-wise, there's some texturing here, a little bit, pretty much everywhere, but it's not as good as the stuff on Tommy is, but still, uh, joints are super tight, but he does have bending. It's just, this, this is one bulky figure. And I imagine all the trolls are going to be bulky. Uh, <laughs> trying to keep the belt on there. And he, he doesn't seem to have a, because of the shell I assume, any type of rotation at the waist. And if he does, I don't know if I want to force it, but it's very minor, as you can see here. But uh, whenever I drop his belt, it looks like he has a beer gut. Hmm. And I don't, it doesn't look like the belt comes off, so let's try not to tear it off here. Uh, so he also comes with, of course, his head. As a Ninja Turtle does. Has a bandana on it. And, it, and it's, it's fairly plastic. It doesn't feel textured in any way, which is sad. And um, it's, I wish there was a, like a button or something I can push so I don't feel like I'm going to break it. Oh, there goes April. I have a feeling there's some people who put the correct heads on once and never take them off again. We're going to assume it's on. It's not. <laughs> it will not go back on. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. None of these figures, I never seem to be able to put the head back on. I don't know if 
there's supposed to be some special way that I'm not doing it. Like, I worry about breaking this peg. And I feel like it shouldn't be so tight. And then, and then something happens and I feel bad and I can't return it. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to call it done, but it's not. Okay. So, let's see if I can straighten everything up here. His head makes it look weird because it seems smaller than it should be. I don't know. I, I think his head should be bigger. But, I mean, look at how bulky they make his body. So, in addition to that is this kind of, like, sword sipey, like, um, I just tried to stab you blast effect, which I guess goes on the top like this. And um, that is okay, I guess, uh, for an action scene or whatever. And, uh, of course, stick him down here for a sec. He comes with uh, four new hands. Uh, here is his fist for his left and right. Of course, they have the L, uh, I say wrist that moves forward and back. And then, of course, they have the open hand, which is, uh, I don't know what it's for. Just like nothing he can hold, really. But open hand. Let's see if I can put the head back on, on the... Now, oh, see, that went on so much easier. Okay, let's put him back here. And on to... Oh, apparently April wants to go first. April! I, I Here's the thing. I swear she is just a reissue of the Pink Ranger. There is legit no other changes to her. Uh, I mean, if you change the head off, instead of putting Kimberly on... If I can get it off. There we go. I'm putting April's head on. That's legit the only difference. <clears throat> Humans are so much easier to put back together. And uh, so April, in addition to having the, the bow and arrow, which you can do whatever, she also has this gun, which is nicely holstered. And of course, it's the classic Power Rangers. This is the pterodactyl gun, I believe. And um, it comes with this lightning thing. It's supposed to represent uh, her arrow as it, uh, you know, does whatever it does. This is a blast effect, of course. And then let's see what else. I think I mentioned earlier the camera and the microphone, which are nice callbacks. And then she has one set of additional hands, which is a karate chopping left hand, or sorry, right hand, and a fisted right hand, or left hand? Yeah. So that, that's really all she has. But uh, I think to myself, why wasn't this particular set with basically the pink ranger with a different head? Uh, you know, less than uh, 50 bucks, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, April, no. And of course, here is Michelangelo. Uh, I'm not going to try to play with the head here. He has, I'm going to lift his arms up. He has holsters. And I have tried, like, I don't understand. Oh, you know what? I think I may have just figured out. There's little ports on here. Let's see if that works. How exactly these go into the holsters. But I think I'm about to find out. There we go. And... It doesn't seem right. Oh, you know what? Maybe it does this. Nope. Oh. Then they clip together. That doesn't. I don't know. Maybe. They... Maybe there's a. Nope. How about like this? I actually don't know. I do not know how. How. I mean, these clip together, but I don't understand how they holster. Because he has nothing else that goes in the holsters. It is so much easier on Raph that it is on Mikey to figure out what goes where and of course he, uh, he if he holds them like this that is painful those are sharp blades I imagine uh, I, I do also imagine this is a toy so they're not really sharp but uh, if there were nunchucks they'd probably not tickle but then he also comes with a blast effect which I guess it's supposed to be these somehow I don't know. oh there you go so that's uh, interesting. 
Uh, texturing is the same as Raphael. There's really no other difference. I, I, I mean, I look at their belt, and I, you, you really can't tell. I mean, it looks kind of like a saber tooth tiger down there. Uh, what was a uh, Tyrannosaurus? I believe his is supposed to be. So it's kind of there because he's supposed to uh, Tyrannosaurus daggers, right? Or dragon dagger? I don't know. Anyway. So th that is Michelangelo. Now, I did get the entire set, which is uh, also includes Shredder as the Green Ranger, uh, Leonardo as the Blue Ranger, Donatello as the Black Ranger, and I, I just don't have everything yet. So that will be part two. And that is the first two sets from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection crossover with the Ninja Turtles. Of course, this was a comic book series originally, so you can actually pick that up probably in the paperback version by now, which is, is a good story. It's about the Power Rangers losing their powers, Rita and Shredder team up, blah, blah, blah. Ninja Turtles become Power Rangers. So, I mean, they're Power Ranger figures, except Ninja Turtle characters. I mean, April is legit just a Pink Ranger with a different head. Uh, if you get the Pterodactyl Pink Ranger figure, it's, it, you'll, you'll go, okay, this is the same figure. Uh, Tommy, it's a nice take. I, I really enjoy the texturing. Uh, Raphael, Michelangelo, their heads look too small for their bodies, and they're a pain in the butt to get on, but as you see, I've accomplished my task. No idea where the nunchucks fit in on Michelangelo's holsters, but whatever. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about these figures. Don't forget that there is going to be a part two with uh, Leonardo, Donatello, and Shredder. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.